Hey, what's up, everyone? Tyler here. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on the OSCP and just give you my initial reactions now that I have officially started the course and provide some tips, some advice for those of you on this journey along with me. So I am two full days into the course and started working through the course and working through the labs. And honestly, I think the course itself is a little bit silly. And here's why. I am paying $1,400 to uh, essentially take this course because the voucher itself if you fail it you can retake it for right around two hundred dollars so i'm paying fourteen hundred dollars for a course that has no instructors that is just like a try hack me module where you read stuff and input different flags as you run different things and the first part of it like the first two days i've spent is very basic like how to cat files and how to do these very simple things in Kali Linux. Now I understand that can be helpful, but at this point in time, if you have signed up, if you have dropped $1,400 on the OSCP, I really hope that you know the basics of Kali Linux. Now I would normally just skip this course and dive into the labs, but the requirement to get the 10 bonus points is you have to complete the entire course, which is about 24 modules. I'm guessing the information as you get deeper into the course is more helpful, but man, like just get to the helpful stuff right away. Quit wasting my time, quit wasting my money. Um, but you have to complete the entire course, submit all the uh, proof.txt flags essentially as you do different exercise and different modules. And then you have to do 30 machines, 30 lab machines, and submit the proof.txt for those 30 lab machines. And if you do all of that, you will get the 10 bonus points on the OSCP, which I think is worth it if I don't get too frustrated uh, where I feel like I'm wasting my time on this course. So I'm going to try to finish the course and then jump into the lab environment when I am done with the course. But it's silly. $1,400, no instructor. You're just reading a document and inputting flags as you do exercises. My other frustration I've noticed with offensive security is it seems like they have farmed all of their teaching and instructor instruction out to student mentors on Discord and other places. Now, I'm good with that. Like, I'm good at interacting with peers and learning from students. But once again, yo, I'm paying $1,400. There should be some live instruction, live things like that going on on a regular basis. Those are just my thoughts considering the price tag for the OSAP. I get it has name recognition, but you look at things like TCM Security, and I think that they are going to be start taking some of this market share with their excellent exam and excellent content. Now, the lab environment itself is also interesting. So you have, uh, I don't know if I'm getting this terminology right, but you have PWK labs, which go along with a course. And this almost seems like a full network that you have to hack machines and pivot into other machines. There's two other lab environments and the other one's Proving Grounds Play. And uh, this is all public information. I'm not sharing with you guys anything secret, but Proving Grounds Play, which literally is just uh, Vuln Hub machines that they host on there, right? So you could download those machines yourself and put them in VirtualBox or VMware and do it on your own. You don't even need access to the lab, but I guess they have it on there to save the administrative time. And then the other part of it that people recommend is Proving Grounds Practice. Now, the difference between Proving Grounds Play and Proving Grounds Practice is Proving Grounds Practice has machines created by offensive security staff, as well as some machines that are retired machines from the OSCP exam. So that's the one that people recommend. But from what I can see when I do that, I'm limited to three hours a day which is silly. Once again, I'm, I'm paying $1,400. I should get unlimited access to Proving Grounds Play. Here is what drives me crazy right now about offensive security. Here's the price tag. I'm going to keep highlighting it, $1,400. Whereas I look at a platform like Hack the Box for $10 a month, it's a more stable platform. It has a better UI. Um, it's one person per box, so you're not tripping over other students as you're working through a box. $10 a month better, in my opinion, than the offensive security platform or try hack me, which is once again, I believe $90 a year. So per month, and it walks you through things teaches you things better than this $1,400 for 90 day platform. So um, I'm still planning on getting the OSCP. Uh, hopefully I pass the exam. But I am a little disappointed with the quality of the content and the quality of the teaching, considering the price tag that is attached to it. So anyone watching here or staff at Defensive Security, hey, let, let's step this up. Hack the box. Try hack me. I get it. When OSCP was the only thing around, it was huge. But we have other platforms now that do a better job of teaching this content that are far more affordable. And then we look at organizations like TCM Security that I think are going to start taking some of this market share. So... 
I'm going to get it because of the name recognition. I'm going to work through the entire course. I'm going to knock out the labs. I am determined to pass the OSCP. But those are a few things I want you to be aware of as you're digging into it. Now, if you are on this journey with me, the one other piece of advice I want to offer you is make an attack plan. Let me show you my little attack plan. If I jump to my main screen here, oh, there's my face right there. I just made it in Excel because Excel works. And so I just mapped out everything from when I started the course. Actually, I've only been, I guess I've only been in the course for one day and I've, I've one full 24 hour day. And so I finished topics one, two and three and four. I apparently didn't include three on here, but I have these goals, right? And I kind of taking the weekends off and I'll mark whether or not they're complete. Here's my overall goals to complete the four full course and complete 72 labs. So based on this, I should finish the course by October 7th. And then I will jump into the lab environment. And my goal is to knock out two labs a day most days. Hopefully I'll have 32 labs by the end of October, 40 labs by the end of November. And then I am sitting for the exam on December 8th. And this mapping this out made it more doable for me. Originally, I was going to skip the course entirely and just jump into the lab. So when I mapped it out, I realized I had more than enough time to work through some of the silliness of their course in order to get those extra 10 bonus points. That might be the difference between passing or failing the OSCP. So that's my attack plan. Those are my initial thoughts. Would love to hear from you if you've taken the OSCP, if you have done their new training, which it sounds like their new training is way better than all the screenshots and lab report you had to do before. So I'm grateful for that. But if you're on it, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment. Let me know your experience with the OSCP or what you think of the content if you signed up and you're on this journey with me. So let's keep hacking. Let's grind this out together. I will catch you guys later.